Hello everyone. So now we will see a more question on this. How we can use total differentiation for some other type of functions. So I have taken here implicit function. Implicit function we have regular differentiation when we have studied it. We also saw what is the meaning of it. I will try to revise it here again. Implicit function means x or y is given some relation between them. Just like it is given here. x cube plus y cube plus 3x square. That means both x and y are given some relation in the equation format. Uh, here previously it was given x value in terms of t, y's value in terms of t in some other variable form. But here it is not given that way. Here some relationship has been given in x and y. So this is nothing but implicit function. So whenever this kind of uh, question or uh, this kind of function comes in the question, uh, first of all uh, making diagram is uh, the better option for it. Uh, we will start with given function first u is equal to x uh, into log x y that is the given function we call it as equation 1 also. And uh, this is uh, other implicit function which is given x cube y cube uh, plus y cube plus 3 x y we call it as equation 2. Uh, now whenever its function is implicit function that means you have to remember that y is uh, uh, dependent variable and that is dependent on the x value means if x is changing the y value will also be changing. x is independent variable where the y will be dependent variable. Whenever the implicit come function will come that time you have to keep it that in mind very clearly. So if you want to draw the diagram it will be something like this. So u is a function of x and y. This is given over here also. You can see it here clearly u is equal to x log x y. Uh, now as I said it is a implicit functions means x is uh, then uh, y is uh, dependent on x. So y is dependent on x means y is also function of x, right? So if you want to go to x, you can directly go to x. If you want to go to x, there is one more way that you go from u to y and from y to x also. Why? Because y is function of x because y is dependent on x. As x will be changing, y will be changing. So this if you understood how we can write it in mathematically like in terms of total differentiation how we can write it. Now du by dx we have to find du by dx. Now from u to x how we can write it since u is a function of x and y both. So that is why we are operating and we are using del operator del u by del x. Now we reached till x. Now there is one more way from this way we can reach it. So here from del u to y how you can go it del u by del y. Now from y to x go uh, so y is uh, directly means y is just function of x one variable. So we can use dy by dx. So this is how we got this equation. It is very important to understand if you understood this equation if you were able to write this equation the further simplification or solving of the question will be very easy. So how to write this equation if you could understand this diagram how we can represent the variables uh, that understanding should be clear. So now once we got this equation we called it as equation 3. Now what we can do it here del u uh, these values del u by del x and del u by del y we can find it by using the function which is given which is we, we have considered here u is x uh, u, u is equal to x into log x y. This is what we call is that equation 1 right. So if you differentiate this with respect to x we should get del u by del x value. If you differentiate this with respect to y then we should get uh, del u by del y value. So that is uh, how we can find it in the further steps. And then we will be left with dy by dx. How we can find it? By differentiating this equation with respect to x. So after this, these three values we will find. So it will be easy for us to 
simplify it. So let's go ahead with u, u is equal to x log x y. So I will write it here, u is equal to x log x y, this was our equation 1. We have to differentiate it with respect to x because we want to find del u by del x. So uh, here by applying the chain rule, right? So we know it, how to apply it, first function as it is x yaha pe jo hai wo yaha pe likha hai directly then log x ka differentiation kya hota hai log x ka differentiation hum ko pata hai uska differentiation hota hai 1 by x so iska log x y ka differentiation ho jayega 1 upon x uh, x y or uh, we will multiply with differentiation of this x y uska ho jayega y kyunki x ka derivative 1 ho jayega because we are differentiating with respect to x now, uh, plus this second function will be as it is log x y into differentiation of first function which is x, x ka derivative ho jayega 1 because with respect to x it is. So, here after simplification this will get cancelled here x x and y y will get cancelled. So, we will got 1 plus log x y. Now, uh, this is we got the value for del u by del x. Similarly, this equation 1 which is nothing but u is equal to x log x y we will differentiate with respect to y. So, u is equal to x into log x y again you will be using the same thing to differentiate with respect to y. So, here first function is at as it is x as it is log x y differentiation is 1 by x y as it is differentiation of x y we are multiplying with respect to y we are differentiating. So, it will be 1 and x as it is and this is how uh, we will getting plus further term also we could have write it further log x y into differentiation of x, but it will be 0 and this further term will become uh, 0. So, we did not write that. So, after uh, cancellation uh, will be there. So, this is something you will get it. Now, uh, differentiate here we found del u by del x value, del u by del y value as well. Uh, now, we can find the value of del dy by dx here. These two values we found it. Now, third value we still have to find it dy by dx how we will be finding is by using the implicit function which is given x cube plus y cube plus 3 x y that is given to you. So, second equation uh, was x cube plus x cube plus y cube plus 3 x y is equal to 1 this was our second equation. So, we differentiated that with respect to x. So, it became first x cube ka derivative kya ho jayega 3 x square y cube ka derivative kya ho jayega 3 y square since we are differentiating with respect to x this will be dy by dx plus ye third jo term hai 3 x y this may 3 jo hai constant hai wo humne outside we kept it outside. So, x y ka derivative jo hota hai then by applying the chain rule x is as it is y ka derivative dy by dx plus y as it is x ka derivative ho jayega 1 and right hand side is 1, 1 ka derivative constant ka derivative 0 ho jata hai. Now, what we can do it? We simplify this simply with this uh, 3 I have multiplied this bracket inside uh, by expansion just multiplied over here. So, that uh, we can further collect the dy by dx term together. So, here we can we can put these terms together by taking dy by dx common. So, that is what I have done it here. So, now we got all the values del u by del x, del u by del y and dy by dx as well. So, we will keep this value in equation 3. So, that after simplification we will get du by dx value which is nothing but the final answer. So, this is how we can uh, do the total differentiation of implicit function. I will try to I will summarize this what we did in this. So, whenever the given function is implicit function always because it is like y is dependent variable and it is on uh, dependent on x. So, 
we should be able to write the formula which we wrote it here and this was our equation 3. This formula writing is quite important. Uh, if you can try to draw the diagram so it will be uh, comfortable, you will be comfortable to write the equation then find the values of partial differentiation which we here find uh, found du by d, del u by del x and del u by d, del y uh, by partial differentiation. Then if differentiate the given function implicit function to get the value of dy by dx and then finally we substitute that in the equation which we wrote it by total differentiation to get the final answer. This is an important uh, concept uh, because we will be using this in the further concept also which is uh, nothing but change of variables. So that is uh, that will be easy if you understood this very clearly. Uh, I hope you understood this one. Thank you.